All right, so it's time for us to start working on our structure. So let's go to the root of our server right here. And here on the XAM server, of course, we have the demo directory that we were working on on the course. Here I want you to make another folder, and this folder will be used to place our CMS system inside. So I'm going to call this CMS. And on the same lecture that you're watching right now, on the right hand side is going to be a download link, just like the course exercise files. But this folder is going to be called, this file is going to be called CMS template. I have some files there for you. So let me just open this up right now and let me show you. Inside that folder, we have a couple files that we are going to be copying to this new CMS folder. All right, as you can see, this is the CMS folder and I'm just gonna go in ahead and I'm gonna select all and I'm gonna copy it copy six items all right now don't concern yourself with any other folders that you see here this is all my all my personal stuff here this is the default exam this is a miscellaneous folder here so don't worry about any of these other folders that you might not have you don't have to have them all you have to have is the CMS folder right here you just make it, create it. You don't have to have it, just create it and then place the folders that I just placed inside that CMS. Just all right. So you're gonna have once we we you open that folder, download it from the lecture, open it up and put the files in there. You're gonna see a admin folder, CSS, fonts, index. I'm gonna show you in a minute what that, what those are. The reason why I created this file is for this. You see, now we have a template here that we got we, we can use for our site for our CMS system this template is already responsive we don't have to deal with that okay it's using a framework called bootstrap which I have a course on if you want to learn some bootstrapping how to make uh, your applications responsive how to use this framework to do exactly this this I found online if you go online and you search for maybe um, bootstrap themes or something like that then you can find some themes all right and you can download administration areas you can make this I mean there are so many different things that you can of course buy really cheaply and some of them you can get for free but all right so that's how I found that I just wanted to show you that that way you can later on if you want to make another project you can but anyway so we have this already in place we have the index of our site. This is the home page right here. This is going to be the home page. So we have that template in place. Then we have also the post template where, you know, this is going to be the individual post. If we go to the admin folder, we have our administration right here. All right. So we have all these folders in place. I'm not concerned too much about the design, to be honest with you, since this is more of a programming course than anything else. All right. So we're going to be putting dynamic data inside this template from the database. So now another file folder that we might need, and actually we will need, let's go to the CMS root right here. This is the, as you can see here, this is the, the root CMS. We're going to right click it and make another folder called images. Let's just have that there. Let's go to admin, make another folder called images. We're going to have some admin images also. All right. And that's about it for this, um, for the structure. Now let's go ahead and rename this. And let's open our co-editor right here. And let's drop that. This is brackets. I'm using brackets. You can use whatever you want, but this is what I'm using right now. All right. So I'm just going to take some of this. I'm going to drop this in there. Let's drop in that CMS, that whole entire CMS folder in there. All right. Let's drop it in there. Right there. Now we can work with it. All right. So now that we have this, what we need to do is convert this into that PHP files, all right? Index.php. So let's go ahead and right click it and rename it. 
and let's just rename it to index.php enter let's rename this one also right click on it rename it to php perfect all right and I'm, I'm double clicking it it's going to take it to the working area right here so i can work with it all right let's go to the admin side and let me just open this up and also do the same thing with this index in the admin rename it to index.php enter all right so let's bring this up in the actually let's go to file project settings and let's make sure that we are in the local host so we see here that we have to type in http localhost and this would be in the CMS done all right let's see this in action I'm gonna right I'm gonna click on this little arrow here on the right hand side just to display this on the browser all right so it's taking us to the ad that page that I just clicked on to let's just minimize this to 100 so you guys can see it we are in the admin of that file all right so let's just go check this out this one here and let's just check it on the browser too to see if that's working all right perfect all right so this is working in PHP now all right so we're set perfect so now that we have our working structure we need to go to the next lecture thank you so much and I'll see you I see you then